What up, what up, what up? Unbreakable Kicks Army. Good morning. I told y'all I'm going to try to do my best as far as when I'm hearing, you know, news about drops and I'm going to try to get in front of the camera and let you guys know ahead of time. I'm still going to try to go live for these granite, granite. I know that I'm not going to get exclusive access on these joints, Army, but I am here to let you guys know that exclusive access is going out for the Air Jordan 4 Thunders today. And, I mean, when they did the shot drop, it was 50-50, bro. I'm still surprised so many people wasn't really rocking with the Air Jordan 4 Thunders like that. I do know that prices has gone down on the Jordan 4 Thunders. So, if you really want the shoe, I told y'all. You know, don't get bit by the FOMO bug. 9 out of 10, the price is going to drop. But I still feel like them joints will go back up. Now, the early exclusive access will happen at 12 p.m. EST. So, again, make sure y'all checking y'all sneakers app. Make sure that you guys are checking the desktop as well. I know some people say that it may not pop up on their cellular device. But if they was to go to the Stinkers app on the desktop, then bam, they wind up seeing that exclusive access. So again, for those who did not know, exclusive access for the Air Jordan 4 Thunders is happening in about, man, a couple hours, man. So make sure, again, y'all checking y'all devices. That's number one. Number two, Army. My man Sneaker Sluts hit me up. The owner of Soul Steals, he was like, break. I got some nice sizes in the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott, the reverse smokers. Let the Army know. I want to say he had size 10 and a half and up. Now, Army, of course, y'all know my boy Sneaker Sluts. He always throwing out deals. Y'all should know if y'all are members of So Steel. But when I even checked the price, I want to say pretty much all of the prices, 10 and a half to 13, was below market. Now, of course, Army, y'all not going to get on the site and then them joints going to be retail or 400 Y'all know how the game go. But, again, my boy Sneaker Sluts, my boy Scotty, he does have the Air Jordan 1. Travis Scott, Reverse Mochas, if y'all still need them, click the link in the description section below. It'll take you straight to Soul Steel, where you guys can go ahead and purchase them. And once you do grab these, just send me a screenshot so I can send them over to my boy so we can continue to do this. I want to say he did this with the Air Jordan 1 heirlooms. He had those joints for less than retail. I don't know if y'all remember back in November when I was at his warehouse, he had the heirlooms, he had the Travis Scott, what other Travis Scott's he had? The British khakis. He had the Travis Scott British khakis, the sixes. He had those for a good price as well. So I told him, you know, let's continue to work. Let's continue to throw these lobs to the army. So again, you know, if you've been looking for them, if you want to make sure you got a legit pair, that is the place to go. Again, the link is in the description section below. Also, army, I got a few more Chicago hats. Again, I'm doing 30 bucks. As shipping on the Chicago hats. I do got one. I know a couple members hit me up asking did I still have any new beginner tees. Army, I got one 3X left. It's going to fit like a size 2X. So just remember that. But I do got one shirt left doing 30 bucks after shipping. But not least, Army, I do got a few new beginner hoodies left. Doing 35 plus shipping on the hoodies. I got one small left. No mediums, a handful of larges, handful of XLs, no 2X, no 3X, and I got maybe like one size 4X. Again, 35 plus shipping on the new beginning hoodies right here. Army, hit me up on IG if you guys do want to go ahead and purchase a hoodie, a hat. I'm still doing older merch, $35 as far as hoodies and windbreakers as well. So just make sure y'all hit me up. On IG, if you guys want to go ahead and grab one of these joints. Now on to the main course, Army, because I'm so, uh, I don't want to say I'm so tired of this shoe. I even got an offer on Trade Block yesterday regarding these. And Army, I'm still going to update my Trade Block. I'm just waiting for people to actually get their pairs in of the Air Jordan 1 spider Man's. I want to say the size 10 and a half that I hit supposed to come in on Saturday. So when y'all get y'all pairs in that y'all still want to trade, again, hit your boy up. Make sure y'all download Trade Block app because that's where I'm going to update that and y'all can offer me the trades or whatever. However y'all want to do it, Army, I'm just here to peep out the same. And I was sent a trade for the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found, size 11, for my personal pair and the Air Jordan 1 Low OG 
the Zion Williamson joint. So what should I do with that trade, Army? Y'all always hit me up asking me, break, should I do this trade? Break, should I do this trade? Now, Army, I'm coming to y'all. What should I do with this trade? Should I trade my Zions? Even though the Zions, man, you may never see those again. Those probably one and done. The lost and founds, I don't know, bro. I don't know. We're going to touch bases on these in a second, but will it be another restock? Will it not be another restock? We don't know. So, again, Army, y'all let me know in the comment section below. Now, as far as the Air Jordan 1 lost and fouls, now, it was big talk that the Air Jordan 1 lost and fouls were going to restock on JD Sport Finish Line this month, May 2023. And I want to say I seen, it was Sniper. Sniper Kicks had posted yesterday that, yes, Finish Line JD Sport will be doing exclusive access on the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found. But, but, it's only gray school sizes. I don't think there's any men's sizes that will be restocking on JD Sport Finish Line, y'all. When it comes to finish line, JD Sport Sniper Kicks is pretty much spot on when it comes to, again, finish line, JD Sport. But I guess we just got to wait and see. But I'm going to take his word for it. You know what I'm saying? Again, I know he plugged in with the information he get over there. And that could be a little bit disheartening, especially for those who didn't get a chance in November for the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Founds. Didn't get a chance April 20th for the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Founds on Sneakers app. So to hear that JD Sport Finish Line was doing exclusive access, a lot of people was excited. That should have been, you know, another chance for people to get a dub. I remember when they did exclusive access the first go around, Wifey was able to get a pair. So even though, you know, JD Sport Finish Line is still a little bit tough to get that exclusive access, when they do it via, you know, picking them up in the store, to me, it's easier. But when they do it via online exclusive access, it's, it's almost like trying to get a dub on a sneakers app. So I still don't know which one it's going to be. Even if they do only do grade school exclusive, it's still going to sell out. It's still going to move. So once more information come our way, Army, I will 100% let you guys know. But again, as of right now, Things can change. Y'all know how things can change, man. Again, I like to just give you guys this news just so you guys can have a heads up. But again, as of right now, J Sport Finish Line is said to only be grade school exclusive. Now, let me go ahead and put this box down right quick because I wanted to talk about some stuff that I seen online yesterday regarding the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Founds. And it was a good read. I know Complex touch bases on this. I know Jordan Daly touch bases on this. I even want to say Nice Kicks even touch bases on this regarding the Air Jordan 1, Lost and Found, and Sneakers app because I always question this release. I'm just like, we didn't had hundreds of thousands of releases on Sneakers app, and none of the releases has the results of the Air Jordan 1, Lost and Founds. Now, there's been times where, like even for the Spider-Man, some people wasn't able to go ahead and get their... Be it in, get in a draw. Same thing with the uh, Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott. It's like it's, I don't want to say hit or miss, but you just got to be lucky if you are able to press the purchase button in order to go for these particular sneakers. So yesterday, BR Kicks even did a post regarding the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found. And it said, what we've learned at Nike Sneakers and Marketing Briefing. So I guess they had like an executive meeting just talking about Sneakers app and how things have been running on Sneakers app. And it says that Nike has stopped up to 12 billion bots calls per month. That's a lot, bro. That's a lot. Just imagine us at home, regular individuals, trying to get a dub. It's honestly to the point where it's like you got a better chance of winning a Powerball over getting a dub on sneakers out when it comes to these exclusive hype releases. Now, again, if it was washed in the paint, Wizard 3s, uh, J5s, Green Bean 5s, like stuff like that, Army, y'all know. Those dubs ain't the hardest to get. But when it comes to Travis Scott, Steve, Spider-Mans, I say anything that has resale value, it's tough. It's almost, it's 1 in 12 billion of a chance, bro. Now, Nike said that they have been doing a great job at removing some of these bots. And I just now started getting that accepting submission, removing bot verifying submissions. 
I just started getting this. And even when wifey seen it for the first time the other day, she was like, you ever seen this? I'm like, yeah, Nike trying to do their best as far as removing these bots. Now, I will give Nike credit for this. I do feel like they are trying to remove bots. I do 100% do feel that way. But I also feel like it's still affecting the average consumer. I was on the phone with Gotham Karsh yesterday, and he was even letting me know stuff like, bro, like, even if you on the app, as soon as it drops, like, Nike could potentially shadow ban or soft ban your account because you are already on the shoe or you're already on the app once the shoe actually drops. It's like just waiting for the shoe to drop, similar to what a bot would actually do, man. So, it's kind of like... I don't want to say you got to move differently, bro, but it's just too much going on with sneakers. It's not easy like it used to be, which is crazy. All right. Then they say bots make up to 10 to 50 percent of sneaker entries, 10 to 50 percent. So half of them is regular humans. Other half is bots. And how do you expect us regular humans to defeat the bots, bro? It's tough. It's extremely hard, and that's why, again, day-to-day -day is tougher and tougher to get these shoes. Army, you can't even walk into a regular store anymore and just say, hey, can I get the new Jordans? Like, you can't do, do you get a raffle? Did you enter the raffle? Did you download the app? Everything is basically virtual now, bro. Again, if you ain't got a raffle, if you ain't got no... In store raffle, if you ain't got no app, the odds you just walk, unless it's a mom and pops, bro, like City Sports in Chicago, you know, some of the other mom and pops that set us, like, and I'm just speaking on Chicago stores, like those, nah, you don't need no app. Sometimes they may do a raffle. I don't think City Sports ever do raffles, but you, you just can't walk into the store like the good old days, man. Like, that stuff is over with. And I think that it's just going to continue to get more advanced, more... Eventually, they're probably going to do retina scans on you trying to do an entry for a shoe just to make sure you're not a bot. Like, I think that it's about to get even worse than what it really is, y'all. Next up, they got Nike is successful in eliminating up to 98% of bot entries. Now, Army, I don't know if y'all feel like doing the math right now, but if they got over 12 billion bot entries... 98% of that is still a couple million, bro. Like, that 2% of that is still a couple million of bot entries that still slide through. I want to say I seen the math on another post. Somebody said there's like, I think he said like 20 million bots that still slide through. Again, my math may be wrong. It is early in the morning, and I definitely, you know, ain't got nobody to math check me right now. But that's still a lot, y'all. That's still a lot of bot entries that still slip under the rug y'all and how can you beat that and then i did skim through the complex sneakers article about nike addressing the air jordan on lost and found restock match like it's to the point where i feel like they are hearing our complaints they are hearing our cries about this release to the point where they actually came out and said something i told y'all army we are a voice sneakerheads we are a voice so it's like when they hear that uproar when they hear us complaining like Certain shoes, I feel like they, eh, they'll get over it. But when this has happened multiple times on the same shoe, you got to start questioning the process. Like, what are these guys doing wrong? What are these guys doing to the point where they cannot control this one release? Now, Army, the article was done by Brendan Dunn, and you guys can go ahead and read the full article. But even when I was kind of going through it a little bit, Yesterday, Nike was basically saying that we had a challenge with a third-party scaling issue, which basically prevented us from being able to handle the traffic for that particular launch. And that's what Sneakers VP Lucy Roos, or Rousse, she discussed that. She discussed that pretty much. She basically broke down the issues with the Air Jordan 1 loss of value. They third-party scaling prevented them from handling so many people on the app. And then again, I always say like, Travis Scott has, if not the same demand as the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found. So why the Travis Scott issues wasn't as prevalent as the Jordan 1 Lost and Founds? When the sneaker group realized there was an error message in the app bombarding users during the launch, they activated a triage team and went back to the third-party vendor to try and fix the problem. By the time y'all get up in there during the actual drop, it's too late. Like, it's too late. Like, like, these issues need to be fixed prior 
to the actual drop. Like, how can you try to fix it while it's already going? That's just like you seeing, you know, water leaking downstairs in your basement. Like, it's a slow drip. Like, y'all already see it's an issue. Like, you're not going to wait till your entire basement start flooding to be like, hey, you know, my basement is flooding. Like, can you bring in a triage team? Like, no, you're going to try to fix the issue when you see the slow drip. But by the time you didn't let the drip drip too long, you know, now your entire basement is flooded. Now the entire app is done. And you already done damage. Like, once the damage is done, it's done. Like, I'm part of that damage sneakers app two times in a row. Y'all had dropped this shoe and I was not able to enter. Like, that's an issue. That's an issue. That the transparency has a limit, though. Rue said Nike wants to provide enough information so that we're giving customers confidence without giving an advantage to botters looking the game, the system. I, but I do like how they came out and tried to let us know what's going on. I do appreciate that. But again, it all starts with an uproar. If we are quiet during all of these things, they're not going to say nothing because at the end of the day, they still get paid. Whether a botter is getting a shoe or whether an actual human is getting a shoe, they still get paid at the end of the day. He said the app makes headline for releases that go wrong, like the lost and found Air Jordan 1 restock, but it's been able to recover. Just this past week, the sneakers drop for the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low Olive was smooth, so to say, despite the product being more sought after than the Chicago Color Lost and Found once. I disagree. I feel like these are more sought after than the Travis Scotts. Maybe the OGs or like the Travis 4s, then maybe. But, I mean, if you was to ask people which one would you pick, the Travis Olives or the Lost and Founds, more people will go with these. Y'all got to know y'all fan base a little bit more. So, again, Army, y'all can go to Complex Sneakers, click on the link, and y'all can read the full article. So, y'all let me know how y'all feel about all of the stuff we talked about again today. Air Jordan 4 Thunders. Make sure that you guys checking y'all sneakers app. Exclusive access is going out. My boy Sneaker Sluts. He got the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott, the reverse mochas. I left y'all the link in the description section below. Again, I want to say it size 10 and a half and up. Less than market. Most sizes, I think all sizes was less than market. And y'all know these joints are good. This is where I got my reverse mochas from. My boy Sneaker Sluts. And we got the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found, JD Sport Finish Line. Of course, this information right here, Army, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all smash that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vault. Unbreakable Army, stand strong like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones. And of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the users. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old tough, but he get amusing. Yo, it's old him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.